Google, two years ago, did a really ambitious project, but they wanted to find out what is it going to take for our Google engineers to be the best leaders to take us into the future and to be able to stay competitive. Interestingly, Dr. Wernick and I have both had opportunities to spend time on their campus and spend time with their leaders. And it's interesting that what they did is they took 10,000 of their performance reviews, so all these reviews to tell them how they're doing in their work, and they took 10,000 and they put them in an algorithm. I'm sure some of you would be able to come up with a similar algorithm. I would not. But they did. They put them in an algorithm. You're ready, right? Sign me up. I'm in. But they put it in this algorithm, and they wanted to find out what are the characteristics that really pop out in terms of our great leaders, our really, really great leaders. And what are the things that aren't so great in terms of leadership characteristics? What are the things we don't need anymore? What do we need in our leadership that is different than those who are just doing the stuff on the front line? Now, it doesn't mean that being on the front line is a bad thing. But they were looking specifically for how are we going to move forward with leaders that will inspire the people around them. So after they did this, they took these 10,000 interviews and they qualitated and they found, they found some characteristics that they liked. Then they did some back checks with it with some interviews, 400 of them to be exact. And then they found eight characteristics that really, really popped out as the differentiators for leadership. Of the eight characteristics, only two of them had anything to do with their ability to be an engineer. Six of the characteristics had everything to do with their interpersonal skills and their ability to relate to other people. Their ability to connect to other people, their ability to coach other people, their ability to inspire other people. Do you want some of these leadership positions? I'll tell you this, at Google, at Intel, or any of these other big companies that are looking for great talent right now. They are hiring, but they're hiring for people that can see beyond themselves. They're looking for people who have a tremendous ability to cooperate, to work well with others, to care about what's going on around them, and to be of service orientation. If you come out of here with that kind of mindset, not only will you be competitive, but you will rise through the ranks because of those who aren't there with you. And you will shine. But I hope you'll remember that as a leader, it's not about you, but about the people around you. It's not about bringing it out for yourself anymore, but about making those people around you as successful as you can be as well. Be other focused. Don't be just about yourself. And you will be a better leader. You will serve. You will make money. You will have plenty for you and your family and plenty for those that you want to serve. <laughs>